Hey guys, how are you doing? My name is Fruitchip and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. And in the previous part, well, we left Skyloft, we went through the cloud barrier and now we are in some sort of a temple. So, let's see what we can do in this place. There is a beam of sun here, so let's go and check it out. Some sort of a wizard, perhaps? Just an old lady. <laughs> ah, the traveler descended from the clouds above. I welcome you, child of fate. Tell me, what is your name? Link? Ah, Link. Good, very good. I sense you have already gained control over the secret power that fills your sword when pointed skyward. The skyward strike is yours to command. <laughs> it is proof that you are fit to bear the blade you carry, the goddess sword. I have sat here for many years waiting for you to arrive. All so that I, all so that I could fulfill my purpose as your guide. You stand on the roof of the sealed temple, a place built by the goddess and eternity ago. Your arrival here was pre predicted many many years ago. The spirit maiden you seek arrived very shortly before you, uh, descending to this land in a shower of light. There is no doubt doubting it, uh, the gears of fate have begun to turn. Yet all is... Not as it should be. The spirit maiden was not meant to reach this land in the manner she did. <clears throat> I feel an evil power working in the shadows. It moves to warp and uh, the destiny of which you two are part. Mm -hmm. Link. Your concern for the spirit maiden and seek her whereabouts? Yes. That is understandable, but for now you must focus on moving forward. That girl has her own purpose that she must pursue, as do you. She set out for Faron Woods to discover that destiny for herself, and you must follow. Show me your map. The X upon your map marks the path that will lead you to Faron Woods. You will be traveling in unfamiliar land, many monsters have settled here, and a map may not prove guidance enough for your journey. And so I will give you the power to create beacons. When a beacon is marked on your map, a column of light will stand at that location. It will act as your waypoint from afar. Point at the X and press C to place a beacon. Okay. Though you can see it from where we are, a beacon stands outside to guide you. Leave the temple through the front doors and see for yourself. When you no longer have a use for a beacon, you can remove it from your map by pressing C. Use your beacons well, and you will never fear getting lost. Go now. You must head into the Faron Woods and chase after the spirit maiden, the one you call Zelda. On your way out, take the contents and of the treasure chest within this room. What you find there should prove useful to you in your journey. You are ready. Leave through the door before you and head into the woods. I wish you safe travel. Know that all the questions you have now will be answered in time. For now, Link, go bravely. Alright, she were talking about the treasure in this place though, so, bird, okay, 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 I'm just gonna go in this room to see if there's anything in here, uh, not really, Okay, I'm just uh, checking the controls. 
It seems like we should be able to get a stream of wind here in order to get up all the way. Alright. I wonder... Oh, we can sit down here for a while. Hmm. That's strange. Alright, I think our heart just filled up or something like that. Just gonna save the game real quick here. Before we move on. To the Faron Woods. So there we go. Yeah. And I'll sell us in here somewhere. And I'm pretty curious about this whole thing. Um, about Link and Zelda. They are both, both playing a pretty big role in this whole thing. What it seems like. And there is that beam of light, that beacon we placed on the X mark. So I guess we can use that in order to like guide ourselves there or just to have a waypoint of some kind. Ooh, what up? Out of the way, you scram! Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna jump in here and help him out. There we go. Ooh. Ooh, 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 there we go. There we go. Now we're talking. Ooh, what could this be? You got an. Ornamental skull. This simply slightly macabre fashion statement bears the Buka Buka Oblin symbol. Mm -hmm. All right, let's add that to our um, collection. There we go. Look at that. Pretty cool move, if I might say so myself. You. Thanks for jumping in there to rescue me, bud. No problem at all. No problemo. Just who were those red beasts? I did not expect to run into a pack of them in this peaceful forest. Same goes for you. This is the second time I bumped into one of your kind today. I tell you, all sorts of weird things are going on lately. I think um, he's talking about Zelda. Oh, you're big for taking care of those guys, so let me tell you something fascinating. Hey bud, I am Gork of the Goron. I'm researching the ancient history of those f uh, of these woods here. According to the ancient texts, uh, there is some kind of place up above called the Isle of the Goddess, far up in the sky. Mm, he might be speaking about Skyloft, I'm not really sure. <coughs> Apparently these old statues serve as landmarks to those traveling up to the sky, or down from this island of the Goddess place. If you find one, be sure to examine it to keep tabs on the number of landmarks. They are rumored to be quite useful. Uh, supposedly, this statue is special, as it is said to have the ability to activate all the other statues. Mm. The whole thing sounds a little crazy, I know, but I for one believe it to be true. Otherwise, why would all these statues be here all over the place? It is a real head-scratcher, bud. Makes you want to know more about it, does it not? Actually, it does. Ah, oh. oh, sounds like I have a fellow Konzoa of Asian cultures here. Alright, bud. You had better brace yourself because I'm about to blow your mind. So get this. People actually live on this sky island. And they get around by flying on the back of huge birds that are way bigger than birds down here. He's definitely talking about Skyloft. Up there everyone re uh, reversed the goddess, and the residents of all the little islands in the sky live in a perfect society, totally free of conflict and unhappiness. Not only that, but from what I can tell, their civilization is way way more advanced than ours down here. But it does not even stop there, bud. Uh, this isle of the goddess have even more stuff to marvel at. The place was crafted by the goddess herself, so it figures that it is filled with wonders um, we do not have here. The buildings are all made of gold, 
An endless spring of mystical water feeds a, feeds a river through the place. One sip of that stuff and you'll live forever. The trees are heavy with plump fruit that cures all diseases. Uh, the fields are crowded with pumpkins that never root. Magic wildflowers bloom everywhere. And the weather. Oh, the weather, bud. Not too hot, not too cold. No chance of sweaty weather in this garden paradise. That is the Isle of the Goddess. Mm. Amazing, right? Wrong is... Uh, it is beyond am <laughs> amazing. Mm. You want to hear more about it, don't you, bud? Well, sure. Ooh. Good to hear, bud. I am completely obsessed with this place. I cannot get enough of it. I wish I had more to tell you now. But I will need to research these statues to learn more. Next time I bump into you, I will give you the latest info. <laughs> what? Mm. What in the world just happened? Did you use some kind of magic? Oh. The statue reacted the, mo uh, the moment you got near it, bud. How crazy is that? All right, so we can use this kind of like a looking different bird statue to either go to the sky, which I think is going back to Skyloft, or just save the game like you can do at a normal bird statue. So I'm going to save the game because we have some more business to take care of here in the woods. Mm. Goro. Ooh. What was that? The statue just uh, reacted to you. What did you do? Come on, do not make a big guy beg. I have got to know. Hey. I have to examine the statue further, but who knows what I might find out. Okay, so Link is not going to give his identity away, what it seems like. Hmm. Oh yeah, this is way back, of course, so we're going to continue along this road and head for that beam of light we placed on our map. Yeah. Oh yeah. Here we go. And I guess we won't be need our beacon right now so i'm going to take it and save it <laughs> and up there to the left i just noticed a little meter telling us um how our shield is doing i guess it is getting worn down so it would be pretty cool if we could find ourselves some kind of a better shield which we will probably do once we get further into this game Farron woods The plentiful water in this region clearly sustains a large diversity of flora, including this massive tree. It is logical that the lush plant life and water resources have attracted animal species to the region. Hmm, look at that. The wood look um, pretty big. Looking at the probabilities, it is extremely likely that a cell is somewhere in the area. I recommend you continue to use your dowsing ability to search for her. Alright, I will try to do that and I will try to remember that I actually can use that ability. Okay, there we go. We're just going to continue along the way. Here's another statue. Here we go. And I guess we're just going to pass through using this rope, swing like Tarzan, and jump off. More enemies up ahead. And since we're just really following along one single road, we don't really need to use that thing to sense where Zelda could be at. 
I want to try and do a dash attack with my shield. Okay. That will have to be. Okay, let's try it out one more time. There we go. Look at that. Good job. <laughs> you got a golden skull. A real rarity among the skull ornaments. It shines with an eerie golden color. So, there we go, adding another skull to our collection. Mm, not really sure what we can do with our collection. That is a real, really cute thing. <laughs> Animal of some sort, perhaps. It's gone quiet. Well, Link doesn't say that much. Wee woo cute! Now there's a green one, I didn't even know they came in green. Don't hurt me, cooey. <laughs> I wasn't going to hurt you, fellow. Hmm. Mosra, I picked up a highly interesting spike in dousing readings from the creature you just encountered. Uh, let's go with really. Yes, Master. Based on the creature's characteristics, I must conclude that it is a peaceful forest-dwelling animal known as a kick. Kikwi, Kikwi, <laughs> pretty funny name. Quickwis are intelligent beings capable of speech. However, such a creature could obviously not be confused with Zelda. It is unclear why such a creature would uh, elicit uh, a dousing response attuned to Zelda. You should follow the creature and in investigate this phenomenon. Okay. Do, 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 do. I wonder what's going to happen once our shield breaks down. We're just probably have to run around without any shield, of course. Alright, we're going to play some sort of a cat and mouse game where we just follow along and try to track that little fellow down. Okay, it doesn't seem like we can destroy these mushrooms. Oh! Whoa, 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 whoa. There we go. We got a root if we're doing that. Thank you very much. Huh. Just gonna kill off these fellas. Oh, come on now. No, no, no. There we go. Right in the middle. Um, gonna go up this way. Just take a look at what's going on. I have detected an exceptionally strong doubting response in this area. You should continue searching uh, the Vincinti. Okay. So. Alright. Let's see now. Huh. Maybe if we dash into this mushroom, something cool will happen. Okay, let's do it again. Okay, nothing at all, really. Huh. Looks like something is up with this mushroom. Oh! <laughs> Look at that! And then he's just running off again. Okay, into the next mushroom, I guess. Hide and seek. Hmm. 
Hmm, there it is. You're standing behind the tree. It spotted me again! Well, I'm friendly! Take it easy, dude! Kwee! Hi, you don't want to eat me? Kwee! And come to think of it, why did you fight off all those red monsters? Ki palip! I am Machi. I am a Kikwi. You seem okay, even though you're scary. Thanks for helping me. That's weird, Kiku. A little while ago I ran into another funny animal like you, but that one was a girl. What's a Zelda? I don't know who this girl was, uh, but she was in a bunch of trouble when I saw her. A pack of those mean red guys were after her, Kui, but she escaped with the Kikwil Elder. Hmm. Look at that. <laughs> Poor guy. Monster, we have obtained new information on Zelda's current status. Status. This information indicates that she was assailed by monster, but somehow evaded capture. However, I infer that she is still in significant danger. I have marked the position of the kick we known as Machi. Please confirm your current location. Furthermore, my analyst suggests that a Kikwi most likely produces a false positive dousing reaction due to previous direct contact with Zelda. Using this hypothesis, <laughs> I theorize there is an 85% chance that the Kikwi Elder will also generate a dousing reaction for the same reason. I propose you continue dousing to search for Zelda. You really spoke to me. You keep some very strange company, friend. It sounds like you're set on finding this friend and the elder. If we're heading that way anyway, Kui, would you mind telling our elder that I'm safe? Sure. I bet your friend is safe with our elder. I hope so too, my new friend. So, I guess we are... Huh. I do wonder... Yeah. We got an amber relic. These amber colored chunks of precious stone are found everywhere. No one knows where their strange shape comes from. Another item added to our collection. All right, and uh, let's take a look here. I think we are supposed to head this way, yeah. So now we're going to head back and run up that thingy, and it looks like we can break through here as well. Maybe if we dash into it? Okay, nothing really happened. We are probably going to blow it up sooner or later, but for now we're gonna run up this place. There we no throw it buddy There we go <laughs> Nice work I'm just gonna go down pick that rupee up Ooh sliding down having a lot of fun Okay picking up another one of those relics I'm gonna go up here just to, to take a look and see what's going on. Another red dude that we're going to fight. There we go, he didn't know what was coming. Hmm. I'm just taking my time exploring, taking a... A guided tour by myself around this. Oh, whoa, 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 hello, buddy. Oh, too late. <laughs> I guess that will make great practice for my for my shield dashing attack. There we go. Good job, Link. Mm 
It would be pretty cool to find a bird statue around this place so we can save our progress. Huh. A big hole. Let's drop down. Okay, it takes us just down a level, what it seems like. Or maybe not. <laughs> Another kick, we don't eat me. I taste terrible. Let me go. Kui? Ha, but you don't seem like a monster. A girl with blonde hair, you say? Can't say I have saw anyone like that. I was lying low this whole time. I'm Ulu. If you meet the elder, tell him I'm here. I don't know if it's safe yet. I'm going to stay here a while longer and wait for those monsters to go away. I have marked the location of Olo, the Kikwi, on your map. Unfortunately, Cella is not with him. Okay, I wonder why she marked our map with these fellas. What was that just now? Don't scare me like that. So I'm going to use this and... Uh, Alright, we're all the way down. I'm gonna run to the bird statue and just save our progress. Before we do anything else, there we have it. It's all good, it's all good. But uh, yeah guys, so this will be it for this video. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. Have a lovely day and I will smell you later.